Today I want to talk about uh, one of my paintings that I created in uh, 2020. The title of this uh, painting is uh, Splashes. It's a part of the uh, small series of, uh, I believe, six uh, paintings and uh, they are based on uh, Sumi ink on rice paper. This uh, painting is uh, not uh, with me right now, it's in Manchester uh, for the um, two-person exhibition at uh, Paper Gallery and uh, I don't have it with me but you can see this painting uh, I'm going to talk about just uh, right here and as I mentioned it's a uh, uh, zooming on a rice paper. I created uh, uh, the first uh, splashes uh, painting in 2020 as I wanted to experiment with uh, different materials and uh, surfaces. I decided to use uh, very delicate, soft and semi-transparent uh, rice paper and uh, sumi ink for this, uh, this painting. It is uh, almost as if I was going against the rules and uh, references I was familiar with uh, in oil painting because the sumi ink integrates with and is absorbed by the surface of the rice paper. It becomes a part of its DNA uh, if that makes any sense. Uh, it is uh, easy to destroy the rice paper if uh, too much ink or water is applied. Uh, the drying process is not uh, complex but requires some attention. Uh, if you leave the paper to dry at the same spot in which uh, it was uh, painted, then the possibility of the rice paper sticking or gluing to the surface is high. Therefore, it is necessary to place the wet artwork on a new dry surface in order to dry completely and uh, properly. Finally, uh, when the rice paper dries, it shrinks and creates wrinkles that add to the completed uh, artwork. It almost feels impossible to and it almost feel impossible to enjoy this uh, kind of artwork without enjoying the texture of the paper. It becomes part of the uh, piece of the painting, and it isn't easy to uh, see these appearing appearances on the screen of uh, the computer. That's why it's important to see it in uh, person. I need to um, control and I can't change anything once I apply ink on the paper. I like to be messy with my process and zooming is about control. When I uh, use Sumi, I have to either decide where my marks we're going to be and um, make that decision before I start painting or just let go with the flow of my hand and worry about the results uh, much uh, later. I decided to uh, let the ink control uh, the flow. After the layers uh, dried, I painted details to define more figurative uh, representation. As you can see, this uh, painting itself uh, is a portrait painting, but basically has a lot of abstraction happening and I think that that's the beauty of uh, the painting and uh, all paintings in this uh, series. I'm actually uh, quite happy about uh, the results uh, in most of those uh, artworks and I'm looking forward to um, see the pictures from the exhibition. I will share them uh, once I re will receive them. a couple of uh, things about my uh, studio. Uh, I'm working on a very large uh, scale uh, paintings right now. The wall that you see behind me uh, is in uh, preparation for um, other type of content that I'm going to create, not necessarily related to my 
work specifically when I'm going to talk about it in uh, later on in uh, uh, other videos and uh, uh, maybe not even on this uh, channel I'm not 100% sure but this is something that is happening in my studio on a daily basis and uh, uh yeah i'm look forward to share that uh, with you once i will be able to do that thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one i also want to mention i forgot uh, this is very important information that um, you can find a, a weekly blogs on my website about uh, specific artworks just like the splashes that i just um, explained to you today I am going to uh, post every week a uh, little bit of uh, text and, or blog post, we can call it, um, where I'm going to talk about process, uh, meaning behind, and general the artwork that maybe I never really talked about before, and I think that that becomes uh, even more important right now. Thanks. Thanks for watching.